the majority of my practice over the years. And we often struggle with balancing a lot of things, whether it's juggling home, family, work, and then finding time just to relax and distress at night. And then on top of that, you have the hormonal fluctuations that tend to happen. And I'm often explaining to friends and patients what normal sleep looks like and what abnormal sleep looks like. And often we are relying on medication to try and turn ourselves off and our brains off when there are other treatments that are really available that could help much better in the long run.